You're on the dating scene. Mm. Would you date someone with a colostomy bag? So I was going to take myself a boyfriend this year before all the cancer happened. Take myself a boyfriend. <laughs> That's confidence. I like that. But if you've got a goal in life, you have to say what the goal is and go out and do it. So oh. I, okay. I thought it's time to take a lover. I feel like finding my life partner now. Yeah. But then, got cancer, which means that I have scars all over my belly, a stoma, which is a colostomy bag, mm. and possibly I might die. Would you date someone with a colostomy bag? Yeah. Would you really? Yeah. It's literally like a hole in your belly that just has poo coming yeah. out of it all the time. Yeah. Why, why would I not? It's there. <laughs> Yeah, of course it's there, but like I've got psoriasis. Have you? Yeah, and like you know, everyone's got something. We're all human beings. We're all but I was stuff. already sort of like not overly struck on my body. Right. <laughs> you know, I already was dealing with like thunder thighs yeah. and. Um, right. So. Hello. Sorry. Sorry. Getting this guy a boyfriend is going to be not straightforward. I'm going to go on a date and be like, oh yeah, by the way. Um, I've got a colostomy bag. Yeah, I know. I, you think that's something that only 90-year-old men have, but no, this 34-year-old woman has a colostomy bag. Mm. And also, I'm going to spend the next five years waiting to find out if I'm going to get cancer again. Right. I think that pe like most people would walk away from that person. So here's the thing, right? Right, yes. If a guy walks away from someone because he knows that uh, they are a former cancer patient who is waiting to see whether they have cancer or not and has a colostomy bag. Yeah. He sounds like a dick. I, do you, but, but you say... Some people might say he sounds like a dick, but you're absolutely right. How would you feel if you were in the opposite position? That's the thing. I want, like, a long-term partner. Yeah. And I think that if I were to meet someone who were in my predicament, I'd go, well, that sounds like that could potentially become quite hard. As a result of what's happened with you... Who you are as a person changes fundamentally, I assume, in terms of your outlook and the things and what you put out there to a person. So, the Sarah before the tumour and the treatment and everything else? She was a lot more fun. Like, I'm, I'm quite serious now. But you'd be surprised. Like, you may be more serious now, but actually, maybe at the age that we're both at, 33, 34... Are you 34 as well? I'm 33. All right. My beard's really feel it, really soft. It is actually. Yeah. Are you using product on that? No. Wow. I'll be honest, when I came in here, I felt quite self conscious about my thick head of hair. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to keep that bit in. You're basically telling me that it's character building. No one's come away from a date and gone. Oh, that woman was ravishing. I, she's really built her character in the last few months. Before we started speaking properly, what was the first thing I said to you? I don't know, probably yeah. like, sorry Sarah, I forgot to bring you any grapes. First thing I said was, oh, you look beautiful. Ishan, are you hitting on me in a cancer ward? Wow. I do think you would, it'd be something you'd disclose to someone. Yeah, I have to disclose it. But if someone kind of says, no, I don't want to pursue this anymore because of that, then they're not That's the person not... for you. Whereas surely the person who says, hey, I don't care. I like you. I like spending time with you. You're funny. You're intelligent. You make me laugh. Um, you're pretty. Blah, 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 blah. Surely that's all that matters. That could be like... Tangled again. Um, you know, I'm, I've not been filming this, I just really needed an ego boost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from a Blake's perspective, if I've never only got five years with you, great. <laughs> I think I'd rather not have a guy go out with me because he's like, oh, well, if she in five might, years, I've she might be out. <laughs> um, this is London we're talking about. People are horrible. What if you were a fetish for something? That'd be creepy. What would you do then? not take them as a boyfriend, that's for sure. Okay. But what if you... Because sometimes I feel like if someone dates me, it's a fetish. For them. Because you're Asian? Um, 
well, fat, but you went okay. to Wow. Okay. Yeah, that too. A fat Asian. Sorry. Fat Asian. 